Got one I've been excited about for a very, very long time. There is a very long tube here on the bench behind me. Some traditional arrows. And I'm wearing a Barebo shirt, so maybe I'm going Barebo, Barebo, Barebo. Because, you know, there's so many people that have commented on this channel that Barebo is not Barebo. Barebo is Barebo. So I've got a trad bow here behind me that I'm going to pull out of the box. I haven't even looked at it yet. And uh, I want to show you what I got here on the channel and kind of show you my journey going from an Olympic style archer, an Olympian, to uh, flinging some sticks down range and becoming a trad archer myself. So let's get right into it. <music> So I've been teasing this thing for a very long time because it came from a boyer. Boyer, boyer, boer, boyer. I don't know. It's, I think it's boyer. A uh, guy that makes a bow. Uh, JT Traditional Archery. John out of uh, JT Traditional Archery. Definitely uh, excited about checking out what he built me here. I told him some specs that I was looking for as far as draw weight and kind of told him what type of colors I like and what I was going to use this bow for. And I said, please don't send me pictures, build it for me, send it to me, and I'm going to unbox it on the channel and uh, hopefully shoot it here today and uh, see what this is. So before I open it, uh, let me tell you what it is. This is a JT Traditional Archery Zeus, which is a 66 inch long reflex deflex recurve that is cut to center shot. Whatever that means, I don't know, because reflex deflex to me is talking about geometry and it can't be both, so I don't know. I don't know, but I'm excited. And uh, I gave him a couple of custom features that I was looking for specifically to get integrated into the bow. And one of those was a grip style that I like shooting. And uh, we'll see what he came up with and hopefully it's in here. So I'm gonna open this thing up. I've had it for a few days now. <clears throat> I've been waiting for the time and the opportunity to be able to open this and be able to uh, to shoot it. I didn't want to look at it and get any sort of idea as to what it was before I had an opportunity to film it. Man, he sure, sure packed this thing in here. And I'm excited. This is basically Christmas for me right here because I've been wanting to play around with doing trad stuff uh, a lot more because it's fun. You know, I've flung some arrows in the in the desert in California when I lived at the Olympic Training Center just for fun on the weekends, you know, trying to blow off some steam. And uh, this is really cool that I have my own bow that is custom built because I asked for a bow to be built. Very cool. I've, not even in recurve have I ever had a bow built specifically for me. It's always just come off the assembly line and it happened to get sent to me. But to have something actually handmade and crafted for myself is super, super cool. So as an archer, after shooting for a few decades now and never having this type of thing done for me is really, really cool. So huge thanks to John for taking this on, by the way. I'm super excited. And it came with a hat. Sweet. And it's a legacy hat, a good one. Oh. This was in the package. An R-Core grip, one of the uh, recurve grips. I sent this to him and said, hey, can you make this the grip on the bow? We'll find out. Oh, look at that, he even labeled it, start. I'm just ripping it apart because I'm excited. My favorite style hat. I gotta get some of these made for the channel so you guys can experience these, these trucker style hats. I like them a lot. He's already built a string for it as well. I'll give you a close-up view here once I get everything open. Manuals and stuff, we'll check that out. Wow, that is very sharp looking. Very, very cool. I uh, I don't know if I can string it by hand. I'm gonna try. Sweet. Hey, the grip's pretty good. So, 
So far, I'm happy. This is great. He said he, um, let me read off a couple of specs for you so you can, you can see what this thing is because I don't even, I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm not a trad archery guy, not yet at least, and I've just never, never had something like this to even speak of, so I know nothing about this stuff. So forgive me, uh, especially forgive me, John, for being so ignorant. Like I said, I appreciate you <laughs> sending this out to me. Okay, so it is a Zeus 66 inch, as I said, so that 66 inch tip to tip. It's a, a carbon back, which is this part of the limb, I believe. So that's, you know, the carbon weave there, as you can see, on the whole back of the bow, which is just super sharp. Uh, clear fiberglass over black and white ebony belly. That's probably what this is, black and white ebony belly. See how, I don't even know my wood, so this is really just beautiful as far as the actual finish of the bow is concerned. The riser is a black G10 fiberglass with green diamond wood accents. And that's where uh, most of this is black. So that's G10. And then the green is uh, diamond wood accents, which is just really, really cool looking. The back of the bow just colors, everything. Awesome. And the tips and finger overlay thumb rest matching above with the uh, black G10 and the green, and green diamond wood inserts. Yeah, so even the tips have that same layup. That is the narrowest, thinnest, pointiest tip on any bow I have ever seen. Very, very sharp looking. This thing is really, really straight too. This is a great looking setup. So I'm super excited to shoot this thing because look at that, no rest, it's right off the shelf, no plunger. The riser is cut to center shot apparently. Um, and it, it just feels phenomenal. Really low wrist grip, nice and flat like I like it. Yeah, that feels great. So. The actual bow itself is uh, 41 pounds at uh, 28 inches, so it's right around 44 at my draw. See here, he signs each one of them. It's even got my name on it. How cool is that? Yeah, this is this is awesome. It's even got silencers on it. It's it feels nice. So what I want to do is basically I want to shoot trad style archery for fun. Just shooting arrows, having a good time, enjoying archery, not having to be precise, not having to be exact, and do it more of a instinctive style, I guess. I just want to shoot some arrows and kind of have some fun, you know, maybe even a little bit of a cant going on, not necessarily a definitive anchor. Just, just have some fun and shoot some arrows and enjoy archery. Um, that's really what I want to do, and I think this is a good start to it. I just like all the little details and the craftsmanship. It's made in America, which is really cool. I, you know, I have big pride in that, and uh, it is just, it's beautiful. This is a, this is a nice bow. I've never said that about any bow, um, and it just, it is. It's just a beautiful looking setup here. So I got the shirt to match now. This, this is a bear bow. Is this fair? Am I? Am I like true now to archery? Am I a real archer? <laughs> All you guys out there in the comments section are ridiculous sometimes. And uh, I get it. I get it. You know, everybody's got their own thing and they're passionate about the stuff that they're passionate about. And it's just, it's funny. Um, it's just, it's, it's hilarious. So I can join the club. Hopefully you guys will welcome me in because uh, I just want to enjoy some archery and have a good time. But have a closer look here at the grip. He built it just like the one I was talking about. It's not as sharp on the edge as I really like, but again, I'm just having fun, but it's nice and flat. There's no angle. And uh, you know, it's roughly, roughly the same shape as this here, which is really cool actually, that uh, he did a pretty good job as far as duplicating that and the shape of the grip and the overall feel of it. You know, it's, it's pretty much pretty similar. Recurve, it's a little higher wrist. I prefer a nice and low wrist here. 
because of the style I like to shoot with is just basically shoot like I had no hand and just push into the bow with my wrist. And I can't wait to shoot this bow. This is very cool. Again, like I said, my first bow that's ever been built for me, my first long bow, I think this would be considered a long bow. I don't even know that. Long bow, I would assume, is because it's, you know, it doesn't have the recurve for limbs. I've got these Easton uh, Axis traditional arrows here. They're still full length. I haven't cut them down. I don't even have the inserts glued into them yet because I'm not sure what spine or anything I would need, and I just guessed with 400s. So I'm going to hot melt some points in them and guess on the length, maybe adjust them. As long as the arrows are flying halfway decent and hitting kind of where I'm aiming, I'm going to say it's good enough. I'm not going to be super precise on my, my tuning here because I just want to have a good time and shoot some arrows and enjoy archery. I don't have a, a glove yet. I'll probably shoot a, a glove with three fingers. I'm going to shoot three below just because I want to. I don't want to shoot split finger. Maybe I'll shoot split finger someday. I, I don't know, but I'm going to start with three below. I'll just grab my bare bow tab for now. I guess I forgot to open up an extra little baggie he had... Uh, wrapped in the actual wrapping, so I, I figured I'd show you guys. BCY sticker, because it's got some BCY X99 string material on it, and of course a BCY puller, coaster, whatever you want to call it. Oh, nice, a spare string. Looks like some additional knock point serving material, an additional hair rest thing, felt bare hair something or other and some knock tying thread to make the knocking points, which is awesome. So if anybody's interested, I will have links in the description below for uh, John's website, JT Traditional Archery here. And uh, yeah, he's a, a bowyer, boyer, boy, I don't know. He's from Michigan, which is pretty cool. Fremont, Michigan, uh, like I said, in the States. And I will have links in the description below, like I said, to his website. And uh, here's a view of his business card just in case you can pause the video now and uh, get his details if you're interested so again huge thanks to john for sending me something so cool i'm very excited to uh to join the trad gang i guess one of us maybe i don't know we'll see how that goes i'm sure i'm gonna enjoy it and uh like shooting trad archery anyway so i'm gonna build up these arrows and get outside and start shooting some because i'd like to play and have a good time and uh can't wait to show you my journey. Full disclosure, not a trad archer, clearly. I know nothing about it. I don't know how to tune specifically for it. There's no plunger or rest. I know, obviously, some basic stuff about tuning and can probably apply it. I'm not going to get very specific because I just don't care. I just want to have fun and shoot some arrows and enjoy archery. So let's do this. I'm tired of waiting. All right, so we're outside. I uh, decided to just hot melt these points in. Some people on my Discord server attached through my Patreon and uh, YouTube memberships suggested that you can actually hot melt in some hit inserts for these Axis arrows because I don't know what length they need to be. So I just started with full length 33 inch 400 spine arrows. This bow should be 44-ish at my draw. I don't know what length arrows to run. Plus, obviously, stiff weeks affects left and right impact. And I do think I want to shoot with a bit of a cant, because why not? Might as well go completely different uh, compared to what I'm used to anyway, you know? So, yeah, I don't know. I'm here at 15 yards. I've got a camera down there videotaping the impact points, so you'll be able to see how I'm shooting. It's a 40-centimeter face that I've got up. Hopefully, I don't hit the target pins that are holding the uh, paper down in the corners. Uh, yeah, let's just hope I don't hit them. And I'm just going to shoot some arrows, and we'll see what happens. I have no idea where it's going to go. I'm not even going to really aim. Um, you know, what I'm going for is trad style, so kind of instinctive. I'm not going to aim. I don't really want to do... Uh, I definitely don't want to string walk, and I don't really want to do some sort of gap shooting. I'd rather just kind of shoot a lot of arrows, enjoy it, and get good at grouping and hopefully be able to make some adjustments in the middle. Normally, I think I would be using a, uh, a glove, a three-finger glove. I don't have one, and I didn't feel like going to get one because I just wanted to shoot. So this is my bare bow tab, and uh, I'm just going to use this for now. I'm going to do three under because, again, why not? So, yeah, we'll see what happens. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Well, not too far off. That's good. Hit my hat a bit, so I had to adjust it. Normally, I would have let down with a recurve and, you know, tournament shooting, but whatever. I'm just going to shoot a bow. Oh, obviously, I'm hitting a little left. So that would mean more cant, or maybe the arrows are too stiff. I don't know. I've only got 100 grain points and the aluminum inserts in here, so they're not very uh, heavy front weight. Oh, sounds good. And it feels good, too. Despite having basically nothing for dampening besides these, uh, I don't know, what are they called? Spider, whisker, something, something. They're not beaver balls. I kind of want to put beaver balls on my bow just because I can say I have beaver balls on my bow. Anybody got any uh, recommendations on how to turn feathers and stuff? This is what I got right now. I don't know if you can see it because it's, you know, pretty dark out here. Just got it pretty much straight out. Is there a specific way you're supposed to run trad stuff? I don't know anything. So, somebody school me. I'm not gonna shoot a bear shaft yet. I'm gonna just shoot some arrows, kinda get the hang of it, and then I'll pull the bear shaft out maybe by the end of the video. So far, this is really fun. I'm enjoying just shooting arrows, putting pointy things down that direction, and uh, just kind of shooting archery. Not necessarily trying to do anything other than have a good time and enjoy myself. So um, I don't know what kind of content trad shooters even do, what they talk about, uh, just share the overall experience, and that's basically all I'm going to do and just kind of let you know how I feel, and I'm, uh, I'm enjoying it so far. So I'm going to go get the arrows and shoot some more arrows because that's what I want. I want to shoot. So I'm not really gap shooting. I'm just kind of drawing back and looking down the arrow, sort of, and putting the arrow underneath the yellow. You know, I don't know height-wise. I'm not really paying attention to that. But left and right, I at least use that to line up. You know, kind of like how you would shoot a rubber band. It's like, it's not to your eye because you don't want to get snapped in the eye. It's kind of just pointing at it and you're... You're pointing that direction. Now, how accurate and consistent I'll be, we'll find out over time, of course. Obviously, I'm doing all sorts of things different every time. Finally got one in the yellow. Obviously, if you don't draw it back all the way, <clears throat> that really affects the spine of the arrow, and that one just turned sideways and headed to the left, so probably should draw the bow back all the way. Maybe I'll try to anchor some or something, find, find some sort of consistent draw length or position. Wait, maybe I should try a, a trad follow through too. Can't, I can't stop. <laughs> I have to follow through. Yeah, 
I can't I can't not follow through I have to consistent draw length seems to uh, seems to help a little bit hey I'm having fun uh, group or no group I don't care I'm enjoying myself uh, flinging sticks with a stick and a string I mean you can't get any better than this so so far good successful day I don't know if you heard that bird. Does anybody know what bird that is? I can't tell if it's a... That. A crow? I wouldn't say I'm like aiming there. Uh, I'm looking at other parts of the riser instead of just looking at the spot that I want to hit, so it's probably uh, not the way to go about things. I should be looking at what I want to hit. <laughs> Definitely better that way. And I'm not really even trying to strive for anything. I'm just shooting. I'm genuinely just shooting arrows. I'm not trying to replicate anything. I'm not trying to be any level of some sort of perfection or even really form. I'm just drawing the bow back how I don't feels right. Just just getting in position and cutting it free when I feel like it. Um, because I'm not being precise. I'm not aiming. I don't have this anxiety of target panic if I do it this way where I'm just just shooting, just looking at the spot, draw back, feels good enough, cut it free, and just let the arrow land where it lands and be okay with it. Uh, very, very different approach compared to how I normally shoot archery because normally it's all about precision, it's all about control, it's all about everything always being perfect. And if it's not perfect, I don't let it go because I know what perfect is and what perfect isn't, and I know that. If I'm not doing as best as I possibly can, there's a chance it might not go in the middle. So, it's just a different approach here for me. This is something completely different. Something far uh, more enjoyable, only because I don't have, I don't have that, that like underlying stressor of, it's got to go in the middle. Because that's my association with archery. It's been decades of precision, decades of chasing perfection or as close to that as possible. And uh, I'm just, I'm glad to be able to do this kind of thing because it's a lot of fun. And I'm lucky to have such a beautiful bow to do it with because it feels quite good. It's not uh, very shocking to the system. Definitely feels different than a recurve, but it's quite smooth, especially through the middle zone. It's just real easy, and then I kind of settle into it at full draw, lack of better terms. And, uh, yeah, I mean, upon the shot, it definitely, it's a little, blah, blah, like, violent compared to a recurve or a bare bow, because there's no weights. There's no mounts for weights. There's no dampeners. There's nothing that really takes anything out. And so, you know, the guy who builds the bow has to do a really good job to make it feel good. And it feels good to me. Like it, it just, it spits the arrow out. If I'm not death gripping the bow when I let it go and I'm just kind of hanging onto it, I don't feel the, the, the shudder shake violence. And it's not much, but it's definitely different compared to a recurve, but I'm enjoying it so far. I don't even know if I need an arm guard with this bow. It hasn't really hit my arm yet.
I'm gonna uh, draw and hold a little longer and just kind of get a feel for it and um, see if that changes anything. Because a couple of them there I held a little longer and it, it felt a little better actually. A um, little more smooth, I guess. And I don't know, just a bit of stillness before you let it go. It feels good. So If uh, you haven't seen me build these arrows and uh, burn the feathers and do all that stuff, I'll have links in the description below and card at the top up there. Uh, in case you want to see the video of me burning the feathers and uh, seeing how I got these custom shapes out of uh, out of the feathers. It's fun building stuff and uh, doing things that are just far different compared to my normal shooting experience and it's just uh, it's really really nice. Yeah, short draw it on that one. Riser kind of gets in my way because I'm having to straighten the bow up more as I'm drawing the bow back more uh, because the arrows aren't as stiff because I'm drawing the bow back further, so it's making the arrow weaker, making it hit relatively more to the right. And so I may um, cut the arrows down a little bit, like a half inch, so they would in theory hit further to the left, which means I could cant the bow more and still maintain my position. Because uh, I'm, I'm definitely noticing that this corner, beautiful, but it's right near where I I'm looking. And uh, obviously I have a lot of experience aiming and I want to aim, but I don't want to aim. So uh, yeah, it's just something, something to share. Yeah, I definitely like it. I'm enjoying this a lot. I'm gonna swap the camera here, swap the battery in the camera here, and shoot another end or two, and then uh, we'll round out the video, and I don't know, I'll share my thoughts about how this went. All right, now uh, I decided let's go to 20, because why not? Let's shoot 20 yards, 18 meters or so. But I moved my sight, so I shouldn't be too far. Need to draw back all the way. I'm gonna go get him and shoot one more here at 20. All right, well, I'm, I'm really enjoying myself. I really like just shooting arrows, it turns out. I like it. I like just shooting archery. This is getting close to as bare bones traditional as possible. Yes, you purists out there. Carbon arrows dipped and wrapped to look like wood. It's close enough.
someday, maybe I'll shoot some wooden arrows, I'll get some, uh, maybe a company will send me some, I don't know. But uh, this, is, this is a fun bow to play with. I, I really like this, it feels good. I think with a little bit more time and just, you know, shaking out the cobwebs and getting used to what's going on. Looks pretty good, actually. I'm, I'm surprised in myself. I figured 20 yards I'd be having a really hard time hitting this target 40 centimeter face, but uh, I'm just looking at the place I want to hit, kind of trying to feel it and cutting it loose whenever uh, I feel the need. And uh, I, I'm enjoying myself, I must say. So, what do you think? How's my form? How's my setup and lack of knowledge when it comes to anything and everything when it comes to trad. Uh, I did nothing to the bow. I added a couple of twists to the string because uh, the guy said brace height seven and a half. The guy meaning John. Thanks again, John, for sending me this bow. This is a gorgeous bow. Uh, it looks amazing out in the sun now that it's out here. I mean, the, the carbon just looks phenomenal. Uh, the, the back of the limb, belly, I don't even know what side's the back of the belly or the front or the belly. I don't, I don't even know, but uh, it is sharp. I, I really like it. It's camo-ish, which is pretty cool. I don't know. It's just got a uh, more of a natural feel to it, obviously, even though this is advanced. It's got, uh, you know, nice laminates and carbon and glass and all sorts of things, G10, all that stuff that is laid up on this bow. So it is a, um, you know, it's, it's a performance natural piece, you know, and I really, really like this. I'm enjoying myself, like I said already. And uh, yeah, I'm just having a good time shooting some arrows and just, you know, enjoying the Florida weather. It's 80 degrees out, basically. It's dis or February now. Yeah, time flies. And uh, it's just, I I'm having a good time. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I appreciate the support and the patience. And uh, I know I said that I was going to be doing trad stuff and it took me forever. Here it is. I didn't disappoint. I, I don't. I have no idea what you guys were hoping or wanting to see. If you have any ideas for trad style content, you want me to shoot certain things, distances, try out different things, let me know because I have no idea about anything in the trad world. I do not know what different types or setups or styles or I, I don't know anything. Um, and like I said, I've, I've just always been a target shooter, mostly recurve shooter, newly claim to be a barebow shooter. And now I've got a stick bow, long bow, reflex, deflex, something, something. I don't know. I'm having a good time enjoying myself. And that's what archery is all about. So I'm glad to be able to do that and be able to share it with you guys. So if, if, like I said, if you have questions, comments, concerns, anything, let me know below because this is new and I'm just enjoying myself and I hope you did too.